హాయ్ నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు గేమ్స్ అండ్ గోల్స్ జీకే మహంతేష్ బ్లైండ్ క్రికెట్కి ఒక అంతర్జాతీయ స్థాయి గుర్తింపు తీసుకొచ్చినటువంటి వ్యక్తి క్రికెటర్గా తన యొక్క ప్రస్థానాన్ని ప్రారంభించి ఆ తర్వాత క్యాబీ క్రికెట్ అసోసియేషన్ ఫర్ ద బ్లైండ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ప్రెసిడెంట్గా అలాగనే ఫార్మర్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ వరల్డ్ బ్లైండ్ క్రికెట్ కౌన్సిల్ వీటి ద్వారా బ్లైండ్ క్రికెట్కి ఎంతో సేవ చేస్తూనే సమర్థనం ట్రస్ట్ ఫర్ ది డిజబిలిటీస్ ఆ సంస్థని ఇరవై ఐదు సంవత్సరాల క్రితమే స్థాపించి ఫిబ్రవరి ఇరవై ఆరు సిల్వర్ జూబ్లీని కూడా జరుపుకున్నటువంటి సంస్థ ఎంతోమందికి జీవనోపాధిని కల్పించడమే కాకుండా స్వయంగా సమర్థనం ట్రస్ట్ ద్వారా దాదాపు ఆరు వందల మందికి ఉపాధి కల్పిస్తున్నటువంటి సంస్థ సో కాబట్టి అసలు మహంతేష్ ఈ రోజున ఈ స్థాయిలో బ్లైండ్ క్రికెట్ను ఉంచడానికి కానీ లేకపోతే సమర్థనాన్ని నిలబెట్టడానికి ఆయన పడినటువంటి కష్టాలేంటి ఇటువంటి శ్రమ చేసి ఈ స్థాయిలో ఉన్నారనేటువంటిది మహంతేష్ని అడిగి తెలుసుకుందాం థ్యాంక్ యూ మహంతేష్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ యువర్ టైమ్ నమస్కారం చంద్ర గారు అందరికీ నమస్కారం నాకు అంత తెలుగు బాగా రాదు సో ఇంగ్లీష్లో మాట్లాడతాను సార్ టాకింగ్ టు యూ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ ప్లెజర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో కట్ మొట్టమొదటి అసలు సమర్థనం నుంచి వద్దాం సమర్థనం అనేటువంటి ఒక సంస్థని స్థాపించాలనే ఆలోచన ఎలా కలిగింది మీకు అది ఈ రోజు ఇక్కడ దాకా రావడానికి మీరు పడినటువంటి కష్టం ఏంటి సో సమర్థనం హ్యాస్ కంప్లీటెడ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ యాజ్ యూ రైట్లీ సాడ్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ ఫిబ్రవరి ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ బీయింగ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ మై ఫ్రెండ్ నాగేష్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ నాగేష్ ఈజ్ నాట్ దేర్ హూ యూ నో వెరీ వెల్ వీ బోత్ లవ్ క్రికెట్ అండ్ వీ లివ్ ఫర్ క్రికెట్ వీ వర్ స్కూల్ మేట్స్ అండ్ బీయింగ్ అవర్ సెల్స్ బ్లైండ్ we had to struggle for our own success we had to struggle for certain requirements subsequently nagesh got a job in bank and then i finished my mam phil he was with sbi na yeah he was with sbi so then we realized there were many many hundreds and thousands of blind people and disabled people with uh, different challenges were struggling for opportunities mm. so how do we help them and individually we can only do little and our prime objective was to support cricket for the blind yeah in 95 96 97 if you go back you know very well <laughs> the situation of blind cricket was very very tough do george was running it from delhi he yeah. was loan ecbi was uh, ecbi yeah. and uh, we decided to kind of promote blind cricket in karnataka and south india and also support visually impaired to go to college mm. once they go to college they get uh, better facilities and they will also get opportunities to work in different levels yeah. otherwise those days as i remember blind people were only telephone operators or uh, music teachers oh. or recaining caning the chairs correct otherwise some small teachers nothing some, else some some kind of craft work correct yeah. so me and nagesh had the chance to go to england in 1986 mm. we had seen the facilities there the opportunities for a blind how society was treating so why not we do it in our country instead of blaming we wanted to kind of do it so that was a trigger supporting cricket for the blind and creating opportunities for visually impaired disabled and underprivileged for education mostly college yeah. was a trigger and uh, the challenges we faced we did not want our youngsters to go through the success and the achievements we had we wanted our youngsters to get more 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 facilities use technology extensively and motivate people motivate their parents so with all this samarthana was started in 1997 
the journey is a fantastic journey a very satisfying rewarding journey very enriching journey but definitely you all know as chandra definitely knows because he has been watching the journey of samarthanam 25 right. years yeah. we had to kind of do everything by ourselves a lot of struggle correct uh, no godfather big uh, politician minister or company or government backing us even i know mahantesh personally running around even uh, late night uh, to meet the people and uh, yes so every possibility we uh, worked for every opportunity to create we struggled hard yes it was lot of challenges but never say die spirit never give up yeah. was very strong in me nagesh and uh, vasanthi madam and many other trustees and so many wonderful friends and volunteers like you who stood with us and also we convinced education institutions and the dis- the difference what samarthanam did from the beginning is we kept organizing events mm. could be cricket tournaments for the blind sure. could be carpet cricket tournaments yeah. and also even like mark and bike walk mark walks walkathons yeah, walk m- marathons and also organizing charity film star nights mm. so all this event these events gave us some kind of reach promotion publicity and a reasonably good funding so this kept us active alert and connected to the society slowly slowly the last 25 years um, with several challenges because we had to convince parents we had to convince students we had to convince donors we had to convince education institutions because awareness about people with disability their uh, their up, uh, talent was very very low and less especially about blind people though sympathy they had but empathy empathy was missing that we wanted to demonstrate so in the last 25 years samarthanam has variety of programs uh, more than 600 employees as you rightly said full time a uh, team of samarthanam mm. thousands of volunteers yeah so by 2030 we want to touch million lives oh. and uh, education skilling environment samarthanam is into variety of initiatives which are non disabled also non disability programs mm. like solid waste management cooking and supplying noon meal for uh, government schools midday meal what you call uh, creating smart classrooms in government schools these programs have nothing connected to disability okay but as a responsible organization we felt wherever there is a need wherever there is a deficiency or defect they are disabled if opportunity is not available for people with disability or non disabled they get disabled yeah so women empowerment technology performing arts dance and music and most importantly you know cricket cricket yeah. for the blind that yeah. was the reason for which we started like this 7 8 verticals samarthanam runs pan india we are a Oh, we I think this for samarthanam all over india branches are right? ha so now we have branches across india so we have branches in andhra hyderabad and andhra lo we have it in anantapur guntur indupura hmm. and uh, vaccination drive we did in east godavari vijayawada uh, east godavari vizag and uh, guntur oh. so and uh, through cricket you know we are there in 30 states yeah. so cabi cricket association right. for the blind in india is our baby samarthanam's baby and uh, we use cricket as a medium to create a positive impact in the society the last 10 years ever since samarthanam took the responsibility uh, we we have managed to uh, build it in a way whatever possible and uh, media we don't shy away samarthanam and we don't uh, keep anybody away like because everybody is our people we are not touchable uh, untouchable to anybody not everybody is untouchable to us so because we talk about inclusion we talk about accessibility we talk about holistic development so <clears throat> disability is just a human diversity yeah. so with all this uh, samarthanam has very successfully completed 25 years uh, chandra atlagane mahantesh meer cricket aata modal pettina appudu unnatundi de inda kuda you mentioned it so atlagane aa tarvata cabi form ayin tarvata so ante ab initial days ki ipatiki blind kitiki sambandhinchi evolution ela jarigindi so if i may go back little before cabi where you and me were there i started as a player in 1990 before that itself i was a cricket crazy young boy baby you can say yeah. and whatever english i speak though i did my literature uh, 99% comes from amazing commentators 
those days. Yeah. And uh, this uh, craze continued and uh, even in blind school, when those days there was no competitive cricket. I played cricket with every object possible, cork ball, leather ball and other objects. Fortunately, in 1988-89, the current cricket ball was uh, developed in uh, Dehradun, yeah. which we started playing. And first nationals was held in 1990, when I was the player. And uh, uh, I played up to 94, 95 I met you in Hyderabad, 96, 97. Uh, we kept organizing tournaments. A right. couple of World Cups were organized in yeah. 98 and 2002. Up to 2010, our cricket uh, was managed by ACBI, Association for Cricket for the Blind, in India. In India. Uh, it was headed by a very inspiring personality, George Abraham. Yeah. And uh, he decided to move on and wanted us to take the mantle forward. He gave it to us. He asked one day, me and Nagesh, I still remember, hey guys, would you like to take the game forward? Being cricket maniacs, I couldn't, uh, Nagesh couldn't refuse. We jumped and said yes without realizing the certain number of challenges which we would uh, encounter. So then, uh, sir, uh, are you going to give us the organization? He said, no, no, I am going to give you the game. You set up an independent organization. Because he was our guru, so as per his advice, we established CABI, Cricket Association for the Blind in India, yeah. in 2011. Uh, mostly all those cricketers who played with us were inv invited to be a part of the board. So in the last 11 years, uh, KB has grown from strength to strength. So when we took over, you know, the status of game, it was really struggling because uh, he was running it alone. He became tired and uh, not many tournaments were happening. We had to completely revive and address many challenges because different people had different ideas and many people troubled us also initially. but. Uh, our commitment to cricket and backing of Samarthanam uh, held us very strong and uh, in 2011 we were invited to attend World Blind Cricket yeah. meeting at Dubai. So, uh, so when we were discussing who will host the next World Cup, last World Cup was held in Pakistan in 2006. I think you went there. Correct. Correct. Yes. So, yeah. uh, so after uh, you all came back, uh, the third, uh, fourth ODI was supposed to be held in South Africa and um, it did not uh, happen. Then George had decided to move on. So nobody was there to organize 2011. So when uh, we were talking, so uh, they asked would anybody in be interested to host the first T20. Mm. For having India hosted the first and second ODI World Cups, 40 overs, uh, we did not want to give this chance. Me and Nagesh raised our hands and said we would like to. So the bidding was honored, so we got the hosting rights. So from Dubai itself, we called some of our friends and said, I don't know whether I called you also, must have. So yeah, yeah, you, you called me. There was mixed response. Some people were excited, super, they said. Some people said, you are mad. Uh, so you, do you know how much it costs? The amount of challenges we would encounter. We don't even have uh, BCCI support. Which corporate will support? So Blind Cricket was not getting any support then. But still, our commitment, we came back and decided to host this. We had some good time. Great learning. Uh, whomever we thought will uh, support in big way, it did not happen. But there was people who were willing to support State Bank of India, decided to pick the title. Nine countries participated. We had a grand inauguration and a uh, lot of people supported it. Finals, fortunately. India lost to Pakistan in the league matches, but finals we beat them by 29 runs. I feel that was a game changer for Indian blind cricket, uh, Chandra. I think you agree because yeah. that victory really set a stage. Karnataka government uh, announced the f cash prize for the first time. Our boys, three of them got cash prize. Some states started giving jobs and uh, this continued and our boys continued to make us proud by winning World Cups after World Cups. When they won the 2014 World Cup, uh, we had no money, so we borrowed money and sent them to Cape Town. And Government of India, when they came victorious, yeah. picked all the cost because of Anand Kumarji. And first T20, Oscar Fernandez was our biggest supporter. So then, um, when they won the fourth ODI in Cape Town, three ministers came to airport to receive the team, mm. thanks to Anand Kumarji. Mm. Unfortunately, we missed. Both Oscar Ji and Anand Kumar Ji, 
who were of back backbone to blind cricket their support was a great tremendous help so three ministers came waited in the airport received with uh, massive appreciation crowd was there media was there and uh, they were taken the team was taken straight to honorable prime minister's house pm was waiting to receive and he was very very nice he spoke to all the boys and he was very appreciative of our boys achievement so uh, the team also had met uh, pranam mukherjee when uh, the team won in 2012 so they continue to win 2017 again prime minister met 2018 when they won in sharjar it was announced in parliament venkai nadu ji spoke about it so like this uh, continuous consistent performance of our team uh, really kept us uh, very positive and we had uh, always constituted two teams in samarthanam and kabi one team will focus on mobilizing the resources organizing the resources creating the resources the other team will focus on the game development focusing on the players so this constant endeavor i think has brought us to what we are today అలాగే మహంతేష్ ఒక చిన్న టోర్నమెంట్ని ఆర్గనైజ్ చేయాలి ఈవెన్ స్టేట్ లెవెల్ టోర్నమెంట్ని ఆర్గనైజ్ చేయాలంటేనే ఎన్నో కష్టాలు పడాలి అలాగే మీరు అన్నట్టు మీరు అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఎంత స్ట్రగుల్ పడారనే తెలుస్తున్నారు బట్ ఆ స్టేజ్కి రావడానికి ఎటువంటి అంటే ఫైనాన్షియల్గా స్ట్రెంగ్తన్ కావడానికి ఈ రోజున రెగ్యులర్ ఈవెంట్స్ బీసీసీఐ తోటి సమానంగా క్యాబి నిర్వహించగలుగుతోంది అంటే కనుక దాని వెనక మీ కష్టం ఎంత ఉంది థ్యాంక్స్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ అప్రిసియేషన్ కంపేరింగ్ అస్ విత్ బీసీసీఐ బట్ బీసీసీఐ ఇస్ అవర్ గ్రేట్ గ్రాండ్ గ్రేట్ గ్రేట్ గ్రాండ్ ఫాదర్ సో yes yes it is very very hard to organize the tournaments uh, so sponsorship is, will not come easily uh, grants are not regular so but thanks to some of our committed sponsors like indusind bank and uh, ongc and a uh, few other companies who have supported year on year especially indusind bank yeah uh, even they have committed for next 3 years from 2016 they are supporting and uh, government of karnataka government of india and few state governments also have supported few cricketers have supported but it is very hard and uh, we have a dedicated team who focuses on mobilizing uh, funding for this and uh, now uh, we have started forging partnerships could be hotels could be uh, we thanks to sponsors a lot of our players could fly for the first time in their life almost on par to bcci cricketers yes we are almost there yeah. except uh, rewarding them commercially we are trying to give every best possible facilities for both boys and girls naaku gurtunnatundi yeah. sunil dat central sports minister ga unna pandi nunchi kuda blind cricket ko recognition kavali ani government nunchi support raavalane atundi fight chestune unnaru even bcci ni adugutu unnaru బట్ ఈ రోజున అది నిజమైంది మహంతేష్ లీడర్షిప్లో సో కాబట్టి అన్ని డిజబిలిటీస్ని ఒక స్థాయికి ఒక చోటుకి తీసుకుని వచ్చి దీన్ని ఎలా సక్సెస్ చేయగలిగారు దేర్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ దేర్ చంద్రజీ యాజ్ యూ రైట్లీ మెన్షన్ చంద్ర సో ఫ్రమ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ వెన్ జార్జ్ వాజ్ రన్నింగ్ దిస్ వీ వర్ ఆస్కింగ్ గవర్నమెంట్ టు రికగ్నైజెస్ గివ్ అస్ ఎ సపరేట్ రికగ్నిషన్ that government recognition is still pending but uh, now we are confident under anurag thakur ji who himself is a cricketer yeah. will consider correct and uh, with bcci yes we have made some headway we kept uh, pleading them knocking their doors ever since india won the world cup or once we took over uh, the game yeah uh, it's a very big organization it's a very structured organization it's not easy to crack and get what we want but our consistent effort uh, along with other uh, cricket also we were asked to come together and we created uh, dcci uh, disability cricket council of india and through dcci we have nominated we have rec- recommended three names okay. which were approved by bcci and have constituted a committee for the game development and congratulations uh, mahantesh you are a bcci committee member now yeah it's a very proud uh, feeling chandraji because for cricketers especially in india i think bcci is the uh, ultimate yeah. so uh, if i'm there it it, it uh, means a lot it is because of friends well wishers and my boys my team and my cricketers yeah. so i would like to thank everybody uh, for being with us and uh, we we are yet to meet officially on this we should be meeting very soon so but definitely a great uh, step thanks to 
our general secretary of BCCI, Sri Jayesha, who has personally uh, taken initiative on this. And uh, I'm sure he and his uh, team will provide everything possible for our uh, blind cricket and uh, other disability cricket also. So, DCCI roadmap ain't and ain't yet, Mahantesh. So, DCCI uh, would like to play a catalyst role between uh, BCCI and uh, other cricket boards. Like, uh, we have CABI for blind, um, All India Physically Challenged Cricket Committee, cricket, uh, India is there. So, for wheelchair cricket is there, for deaf, uh, there is a deaf uh, cricket association is there. So, DCCI will play a consul consortium role and a catalyst role connecting BCCI and uh, other disability crickets. Oh. And uh, DCCI will uh, hold everybody together and uh, plan the game forward for all of the disability crickets. Mahantesh goals? Yeah, personally, I am uh, very keen on taking the game forward. We should have our own cricket stadium, at least one to start in Bangalore, but other states are also working on. We should, we should be having fewer for our own Exclusively stadium. for uh, blind cricket? Yeah, so oh. we will make it uh, inclusive stadium. Okay. So where blind cricket's uh, requirements are also considered. Okay. Uh, even we would uh, allow like having that ramp. Or yes, like ramp and uh, okay. uh, color contrasts and oh. uh, uh, round edges, whatever accessible features for all. Yeah. So this stadium, uh, stadia will be made available for everybody. Even non-disabled also can use our stadium. Okay. Because getting cricket stadium is not easy to play. Right. So to practice. One is that, second to continue to take this game to the next level, provide much, much better facilities to both boys and girls okay. and continue to organize tournaments year on year. On year. Um, and uh, our girls team and boys are invited to be a part of World Games uh, for the Blind, which, are happen which is happening in Birmingham, 2023 August. So like this, so we want to uh, create uh, opportunity at every platform possible so that our people get more and more opportunity to play the game. That is the whole purpose. And uh, we'll continue to uh, speak to BCCI and Government of India and other state governments to provide every possible support. And state uh, associations, cricket state associations to, to constitute Disability Cricket Council in every state associations. So like this, we have many plans, Chandra, in the days to come. and. Uh, if BCCI recognizes uh, the geese, this game, hopefully our players and retired players also will get some uh, regular support system. Yeah. And uh, our aim, Samarthanam's aim and Cabby's aim is every cricketer should be economically empowered even when they are playing and even after they stop playing. Okay. And we have introduced a match fee in the last 3-4 years. We mm. pay every match they play under the Cabby. Mm. Uh, domestic certain amount and uh, international certain amount. So fees is, fees is one way of uh, giving know, them support. Yes, some yeah. kind of support. Yeah. A lot of them, you know, come from very, very humble background. Yeah. So though not very big, some kind of respite. Yeah. Definitely some kind of financial support. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Mainstream cricket ki crowd allows to do a blind cricket ki raval yala, which yala che yala net one to the na vision net one to the salas are mentioned. Yes, you made so you put a game law at one to mark what you know. Yes, so if you uh, remember 2017 uh, second T20 World Cup, we organized it in uh, 12 cities, yeah, and there are some cities uh, where we had crowd more than 10,000. Oh, good. Endor we had 15, Jaff, Jaff, Bhuvaneshwar we had uh, more than 15,000 yeah. and uh, Hyderabad uh, around 8,000, 9,000 in the semi-finals. Bangalore in the finals we had uh, close to 25,000 plus, yeah. you say. Uh, so KCA had given permission for us to have 5,000 people but uh, <coughs> we requested them to open more gates and 25,000 people were there. So definitely uh, interest is catching up, there are people who are willing to come and see and enjoy because it is a very different game, a very motivating and inspiring game, how blind people follow the sound and play. I think yeah. it's a very, very unique uh, game, Chandra. Eye opener, <laughs> Mahantesh uh, autobiography. So just yeah. that will be open. Sure. Yeah, as you rightly said, Eye opener uh, is my autobiography, uh, which we released by legend, cricket legend Rahul Dravid. Uh, it's a virtual release. So this autobiography talks about my life, uh, 
it was very early when I before I completed 50 I had completed writing this some people ask why did you write so early mm. I had a reason for that because I lost Nagesh yeah. half of the memory is lost with him about the organization about our struggle about our challenges yeah. so this book talks about uh, the uh -huh. challenges, the struggle, the resilience uh, we all had, how Samarthanam could uh, uh, kind of handle all of that and grow and uh, initial challenges of handling cricket, the World Cup, organizing and hosting, so many challenges. Yeah. So this book will act as a guidepost for our next generation and it also helps us to look back how we handled and that keeps us uh, uh, going strong and keep our motivation levels high. So, uh, Eye Opener is a very good title. Um, it was given by Mr. Kaushik, one of the journalists like you, okay. who, who is a very good friend of Satish Vishwanathan, who is yeah. a co-author of my book. So, uh, yeah, it talks about various uh, people's support I got in my life to study, to also my family. Like it talks about different dimensions of my life. Chandra. What is Cabby's future plans? Yeah, Cabby's future plan is to continue to work hard, continue to create more and more uh, opportunities, more facilities, create uh, tournaments at different levels for children, for uh, veterans, and also uh, create more uh, structured approach to the game. And uh, even women cricket, we want to take it like next level. Recently, we concluded a women cricket too. So, 14 teams came. First one, we had only seven. So, uh, and uh, 14 teams came and uh, Karnataka and Varisa played the finals. Karnataka won the championship. Karnataka won the national championship. If you remember, uh, boys had won it in 2004. Yeah. After that, uh, Andhra has been continuously winning yeah. national championships in men. So, Karnataka had to wait. So, girls brought this cup. So, we will continue to work hard towards the game development for women, for children and even for boys at different level. So, create uh, our own facility, stadium and get more recognition to our team and uh, cash recognitions, employment opportunities and uh, wherever possible raise their ball, bar so that they also get equal if not more yeah. uh, than regular cricketers. If, if, if they can some, go somewhere closer, financial, non-financial, I think these are all some uh, immediate plans and immediate thoughts. Thank you Mahantesh, uh, thanks for your time. Games and goals uh, wholehearted ga wishes to andi samarthanam marinta to andi mandi ki employment create chayala ni alagne cabidwara marinta mandi cricketer lo jatiya jetti ke aadali anje passion kuda games and goals wholehearted ga wishes to andi. Thank you, thank you very much, Chandra. My uh, appreciation and good wishes to games and goals. Uh, may this channel uh, succeed and reach out to as many and continue to inspire uh, youngsters to do better and serve the society so that games and goals becomes a, a the most preferred youtube channel for people uh, people especially people who love sports people who love cricket so my hearty congratulations for this initiative and my very good wishes to entire team of games and goals good luck thank you mahantesh uh, thanks for your time